Many of us recognize the importance of saving and investing for a secure financial future, yet many often postpone these crucial steps. As of 2023, official EU statistics reveal that 54% of Europeans don't feel confident that they will have enough money to live comfortably throughout their retirement years. Alarmingly, the same statistics show that only 24% invest by themselves in funds, stocks or bonds. Now, there's plenty of ways to take care of your future, but ignoring one of the most profitable asset class of the last century might be a bad decision. I'll leave a link to the survey and the responses in the description, but today's takeaway is evident. If individuals are concerned about their financial future, the time to act is now. In my experience, some people hesitate to plan for their financial future thinking, why save if I don't know how to invest? Isn't it too complicated? The answer is a resounding no. It's not too complicated. As the title of this video suggests, just 20 minutes can set you on the path to financial freedom. By the end, you'll grasp the foundational principles of budgeting and building a financial reserve. You'll also know how to determine your own individual financial freedom number and gain practical insights on how to invest in a straightforward instruments like S&P 500. Exciting, isn't it? Now you might be wondering, who am I to guide you on this journey? My name is Emilis. Nice to meet you. And I'm a seasoned financial advisor. Over my career, I've already assisted over 5,200 individuals in kickstarting their investing journey and achieving their financial aspirations. I'm confident that my expertise can help you too. So stick with me for the next 20 minutes and you'll discover how simple yet powerful saving and investing strategies can shape your financial future. Don't worry, I'm not selling you anything. You'll be able to actually act on this information on your own within the next 20 minutes. So let's continue. When you pose the question, why do you invest to seasoned investors? Uh, the predominant answer is the pursuit of financial freedom. But what does that really mean? For many, financial freedom translates to the returns from their investment portfolio adequately covering all living expenses and necessities. However, it's essential to understand that lifestyle, needs, expenses and incomes vary considerably from person to person, from country to country. Thus, to truly achieve financial freedom through your investments, you need to pinpoint the exact capital requirement. Let's dive into a tangible example. Imagine you are a resident of Poland, a member nation of the European Union. In 2023, you earn a monthly salary of 1,100 euros from your standard 9 to 5 job, uh, which aligns with the average income for a Polish citizen. That 1,100 euros annually equates to a net income of 13,200 euros, covering all your essential expenses, housing, food, clothes, utilities, with a bit left for savings and investments. Now, take your own example in this situation. So take your own salary, count from the basic income, from the necessity income, from the income you get with the bonuses, but initially pick a number what you want to earn from investments and you can follow this example along the way. Now, in this example, if your investment portfolio could consistently provide a post-tax profit of 13,200 euros annually, you'd be experiencing financial freedom. But there's a keyword here, post-tax. When calculating the desired profit from investments, accounting for capital gains tax is imperative. There are mainly two methods for this way. If you're aware of and can find the exact tax percentage for capital gains in your country, simply add that percentage to your annual net income to understand the gross amount required. Alternatively, estimate the monthly profit you wish to secure before taxes and then multiply that figure by 12 for an annual projection. So if a simple explanation, if I want 2,000 euros pre-tax, I just take that 2,000, multiply that by 12 and get 2,400 and I use it for the next calculations. Let's delve deeper into our Poland example. A swift Google search reveals that Poland capital gain tax rate stands at 19%. Therefore, to net our targeted average annual income of 13,200 euros after tax, we need a pre-tax profit of approximately 16,296 euros. This is calculated as this formula and you can change that 81 to whatever percentage you want. And sure you've got the math right. Subtract the 19% tax from the 16,296 euros and you should arrive back at your original 13,200 or in your example, whatever you count. If not, feel free to rewind and follow the calculations again. All right, now we sort of understand how much capital we need each year, but now how substantial an investment is required to consistently yield 16,296 euros annually. The answer hinges on your anticipated annual return rate. As your capital grows close to or surpasses your yearly salary, you might lean towards more conservative investments. So let's calculate using a 5% return rate, a figure notably more conservative than the general average of around 
The math is straightforward here. To get the necessary capital, multiply the targeted annual return, so 16,296 euros, by 20, because 100 divided by 5%, return equals 20. First, this formula. This figure, 325,920 euros, is your financial freedom number for this scenario. By having this amount invested, even in low risk avenues, offering a 5% return, you'd reap an annual income of 16,296 euros. Post tax, this translates to 1,100 euros every month. Quite the reward for doing absolutely nothing. Does amassing 325,000 euros sound daunting? Fear not. While the figure might seem hefty, achieving it is more about persistence and less about difficulty. With time and consistent effort, the task becomes surprisingly manageable. Now, let's face the facts. Most of us don't have a spare 300,000 euros tucked away ready to be invested. But as we aim to accumulate this capital, there are more lucrative financial options that offer a balance of decent returns without excessive risk. Let's dive into S&P 500. This index mirrors the performance of the top 500 US stocks and is often viewed as the benchmark for average investment returns. Historically, over the past century, the S&P 500 has averaged a yearly return of about 10.5%. Impressive, right? While past performance is no guarantee of future returns, there is comfort in investing in an entity with a solid century-long track record. Imagine you opt for exchange-traded funds or ETFs that track the S&P 500, betting on its historical average and calculating based on a 10% return. One pivotal question then arises, how much can you invest monthly? Recalling our Polish citizen earning approximately 1,100 euros a month, a new investor without uh, burdensome debt or high interest loans could comfortably invest 15 to 20% of their salary. In this scenario, that's about 200 euros monthly. Ever wondered how long it would take to reach the 325,000 euro goal with consistent investments and the power of compound interest? I turned to a compound interest calculator to shed light on this. Let's break down the numbers. By investing just 200 euros a month, at an annual return of 10%, you'll accumulate over 325,000 euros in about 28 years. Sure, this might seem like a long time, but remember, that's just 18% of an average monthly income. Imagine the possibilities if you invest a larger chunk of your income. Before we delve deeper into financial planning, those eager for hands-on investing examples can jump to this time mark. For everyone else, let's discuss an often overlooked component of investing, the financial reserve fund. Let's cover one major investment risk. Liquidating assets prematurely due to unexpected financial needs, or in other words, sell at a bad time because you are forced to, uh, due to your own financial situation. You can combat this with a financial reserve, your safety net for those rainy days. It's the bedrock of successful investing. To put this in simple terms, is a small pile of cash for emergencies. If you have um, low financial responsibilities, aim for a reserve covering three months of necessary expenses. Moderate responsibilities like small kids or a few loans, you should save up to six months of expenses. High responsibilities like large families or multiple liabilities or businesses and so on and so on, consider a full year's worth of necessary expenses. I get it, diving straight into investing is uh, tempting, but a solid financial foundation is your safety harness against potential pitfalls. Another thing before investing, it's wise to scrutinize and optimize your spending. Streamlined finances translates to more robust investments. By simply having good budget practices, you'll be able to invest significantly more, which in turn will allow you to get to financial freedom significantly faster. Here are a couple of uh, straightforward and impactful bid budgeting rules. First one, pay yourself first. Off the top of every paycheck, set aside at least 10% for yourself. This sum is for saving and investing. It's a mindset shift, uh, positioning you as the primary beneficiary of your own hard work. The other one, 50-30-20 rule. Allocate 50% of your income to essentials like food and housing. Uh, use 30% for discretionary spending like dining out, entertainment. And the remaining 20%, that goes straight into savings or investments. It's a balanced approach promoting financial growth without compromising your lifestyle. Time to roll up your sleeves and delve into a practicality. Let's talk about setting up your broker account. You've recognized the importance of securing the future and choosing exchange-traded funds, ETFs as your vehicle. The next milestone, opening a broker account. For fellow Europeans, Freedom24 is a trusted option I personally use. However, if you're with another broker, this tutorial will al still align with 95% of your experience. And if you're just starting out, there's a bonus for you. 
register with Freedom24 through the link in the description and snag a free stock valued up to $600 and 30 days of commission free trading. The investment process is straightforward with Freedom24. Let's dive into the practical side and let me share the screen. All right, uh, let's jump to the practical side. So I got Freedom24 already open and I first wanna go and quickly explain how you top up your account. And most of the brokerages always look to top it up by either credit card or by bank transfer. Now credit or debit cards will be the more expensive way, but most of the times um, you have immediately have money to trade uh, straight away. Now, if you want to pay for that, that's your choice. I normally choose bank transfer at all the top ups. And the simple idea is you'll have the account name and explanation details. It's either in euros, in dollars, in uh, pounds, uh, British pounds, and you'll have the details of where to transfer the money. So initially it costs you as much as your bank charges you for the transfer, which majority of Europe has completely free or it's like one euros or something like that. So most of the cases for me, I have automated transfer on specific date of the month uh, from my bank directly to my brokerage account. And then a couple of days later, usually it takes like two or three days to top it up. Uh, I go into investing side where I just buy specific amount of units of ETFs and that's it. Uh, just to explain very quickly, just ETF.com uh, gives you an easy way to find uh, ETFs. I go in more detail on the course, but uh, just to walk you through, uh, let's go and search for S&P 500 and find the biggest one. So biggest one is iShare score S&P 500 and it got over nearly what, over 49,000 uh, million, say 45, 49 billions of assets under management. Uh, ridiculous amount uh, and it costs uh, significantly cheap. Now you can get a lot of details if you jump into the fact sheet. This opens a new page and shows you all the sort of historical returns, top holdings, so on and so on. Uh, but I'm after the ticker symbol. So I scroll down all the way to the bottom and I already know what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for this SXR8. Now I go on the trade, I type SXR8. I choose my option. It gives me the details. One quick check is ISIN number. I copy this, I double check that it's exactly the same as here. So you know that it's exactly the same instrument, instrument you were discussing. And it is an ETF, you can buy them in one unit and the currency is euros. So now one unit currently costs around 427 euros and I can buy one, two, three, four, so on and so on. And here I can choose like one unit, two units, uh, straight away this will jump to uh, 800, so on and so on. And I can also pick the price. So market price will say whatever market price is, I'll buy it at this unit. And if, for example, I want a discount and I'm only going to pay like 425, I can pick a limit order. And if someone sells for that price, the order will fulfill. If no one will sell for that price, the order will not fulfill. Uh, double check order settings until cancelled usually means that until you cancel or it executes. Uh, until end of day is initially uh, if that uh, limit order, that price is not available until end of day, it just gets cancelled. All the rest I would avoid until you know more. So use margin. I don't use it and I would not pick to use it if you're a new member of investing world. Uh, anyway, uh, once you're happy with everything, you just place the order, confirm purchase. That's it, simple as that. Now the market is currently closed. We're filming on a weekend, uh, initially on a Monday morning. Once it's open, you usually see the exact hours. Uh, straight away the order will come through and you'll become a shareholder of the CTF. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, one quick note that if you do want the dollar version, the UAA uh, could be the, your choice. It costs a little bit less, about $80 per unit. So if your choice is to invest in dollars instead of euros, that might be the pick, the pick for you. Uh, all right, let's go back to the video. And just like that, in a mere 20 minutes, you've armed yourself with essential knowledge for financial freedom. Time to set the wheels in motion. Take that first investing step now and your future self will surely thank you. Craving for a deeper dive? I've curated a comprehensive course on ETF investing. Right now, snag it at an astonishing 90% off with a promo code FREEDOM24. That's just 5 euros with a discount. 
Check the description below. If this video resonates with you, show some love by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always open to feedback. Comment below on the topics you'd like explored next. Uh, happy investing and see you soon.